Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International Nail Artisan and Educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful autumn nail design which you can have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, that's a simple kind of look with the lyre leaves and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial and you will learn something uh, new. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Let's start! I have prepared this autumn set for you and I want you guys to look close at it because um, it has this kind of dimension to it uh, so if you do if we really zoom it in you can see it that those sleeves like uh, some of them are more on the back and some of them are more on the front there we are that looks actually quite nice and I will show you how to achieve this uh, this look maybe look on the side as well Oh, this, um, the light is reflecting so badly on them, but uh, you can see uh, like some of the leaves are much uh, underneath <laughs> and I show you how to paint it. So uh, I have done three because it's a pretty time consuming set, so I will show you on two. And all we need is some oranges and yellow. So for orange I'm going to use 151. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the mixing palette, not this orange. The red, which we are going to use as uh, 162, which is lipstick. And I think this is just a perfect combination of the colors for uh, autumn time. And then 198 of my cake. That's a yellow. Okay, so I have just took all these colors. And now we are going to um, paint those leaves. Okay. Oops. We will start with the darkest color, so that's red. And the easiest way to paint those leaves is do a wee line, another line, like at least for me, another line, another line, another line. So it looks like a star, and that's what we're starting with. Once you have done the star, we are going to do like a wee triangles there. Now adding some orange into it as well, just so it's not pure red. And make it bigger. Okay, so this way we have painted the first leaf. I'm going to quickly swap it to the thin brush. And then give it a cure. So we just have done a quick break, like to take a picture of the previous set which I have painted and I didn't cover my brush and it hardened a little bit. So I'm just cleaning it with the UV cleanser, pick up the gel, that's it, it's softened. Whew. <clears throat> I would cry probably. Now we are going to paint another one, but more underneath, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's so quick way of, um, an easy way of painting those leaves. I have picked up some orange in my brush. Yes, so we've got those autumn colors in there. And we've got another two leaves. <clears throat> now add some detail in here. So a drop of the black. Black, where are you? Okay. 
drop of the black mixed with red. Like you don't want um, pure black. It won't be too strong. And now I'm going to paint the veins inside. Not too many, just a couple. Give it a flash cure. Same in here. This one is too strong. So you're going for a pure black is really not looking nice. Flash cure. <coughs> and then our next step is to apply the top coat. Now, if I would be doing it on the client, I actually don't have this top coat in here. But if I would be doing it on the client, the top coat you want to use is a so Cove Taupe Gel. Because uh, this Taupe Gel has inhibition layer. So the next layer is going to stick to, to this top coat. Okay. So I'm just applying the top coat. Look it. Same on this one, top coat. And cook it. And now we are going to paint another layer of the leaves. So you can see it like in here. So the red ones are <clears throat> the ones which are the most on the back. Then we've got some oranges and then the yellow on the top. Okay, so I'm picking up the orange. I didn't clean my brush. I've got some wet in there as well, which is great. And we're going to paint some orange leaves. I want some redness in there as well. Even touch of yellow, why not? You can see how beautiful this leaf turned out. Then one more from the top. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going over the red one. Maybe even bigger. So the one which is on top of the red, the red is really hard color to cover. I'm just going to flash cure it and add another layer of this uh, orange door. Here I'm just painting a really big one. Okay. 
I don't clean my brush in between picking up the colors like I find it this way you get a really nice mixture of the colors like I think it looks much prettier another one a really fun design to do it And I think those kind of pattern, the leaf pattern is okay even for the people which I know it's a lot of design but at the same time it's not a lot like it doesn't look as tacky because it's just leaves I've got too much yellow. Cook it. Okay, so on this one, I'm just going to apply another layer where the red is. Like I really need to cover this red. Okay, and that's the that's the red completely covered. Let's do maybe something here as well, just a wee touch of orange. The red, then veins. So on the red leaves we have used um, some black, and now on the orange ones we are using red. This one is actually really beautiful leaf. So almost no touching, hardly any product on your brush. And we're painting those veins. So very little product. And this leaf is really nice and beautiful. There we are. I'll try to actually keep it at a good angle now guys so you can see it better there we are see when we're trying to keep it at as light as possible so you can guys see it actually too much light is not good either Okay, so a couple veins and then give it a cure. Okay, and then we are going to paint another veins. So tiny bit of product and look, I'm hardly touching it. This one actually has some nice natural veins which we have created using the gel polish. That's the thing, some of the leaves will turn out really pretty even without of trying it. Make a wee tail there. Okay. Same. Some color on this one. Next step, again, another layer of the top coat.
like you can apply it um, even like a thicker layer right in the middle do not apply the thicker layer in the a on the sides just in the middle because that will give us those more dimension like it will really show those leaves are on the higher layer than the ones on the bottom okay same on this one actually you know what guys i will do i will quickly matte top coat it and the only reason for it is I wanted it to be more visible for you what I'm doing. And on the mat, the light is not going to reflect as bad. Okay, so time for the yellow ones. Again, I didn't clean my brush. I'm just searching where it will be a best placement for the yellow ones. So I want a really decent one in here. And because I didn't clean my brush, I've got uh, nice colors on it already. I'm using the watercolor brush from New Perfect, the large one, which makes the things much quicker to paint. They're not precise, um, but I like the combination of two brushes, like one which is for a precise work and this one is for a very quick painting. Okay, so I have painted lip. Another one, I could easily slap it on there. And one more in here, just the edges of it. Okay, D-liner brush to perfect it. And then give it a cure. And same on this one. So I'm missing some yellow in here. Three. And something in there, but I really like this leaf, so I don't want to hide it. Oh. Let's do it there. One, two, three. And work on the detail. Add the drop of orange as well. Just so they are not like a one, one color. Cure it veins and then top coat, and I can show you the final look. This time the veins are going to be orange mixed with red. And then on this leaf. And try to paint it as, as thin as possible. <laughs> if you paint it too big, just wipe it off. Just so... It doesn't look too bulky. Let's go. One more, one more, one more. 
and then cure it. We have to quickly do the same in here. No, we don't it. So just to coat it for the final look. And I've actually got dilemma because it looks quite nice and matte as well. Um, I do really feel like it looks quite nice and matte. Shi no, shiny. Yeah, camera one is showing shiny as well in the camera. Shiny, shy, definitely. Yeah, totally agree. So just apply the top coat. So if you would do it on the client, uh, make sure you do not um, build too excessive on your structure. Like you don't want the nails to be too thick because you've got so many layers of the top coat. Oh, look how nice it is. I hope the camera can catch it. Like that's what got those dimension. Like you can see it clearly. Some leaves are on uh, front and some leaves are on the back. Uh, so really nice set. And I think it will look awesome. Um, all of them together and also awesome for a thumbnail picture um, when we already apply them on the nails. Of course, I use the blue tack and Olivia as my model uh, for all the pictures, but, but she had been playing. So she have paint Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon, if some of you have watched, like, I mean, it's my kind of kids stories, uh, kids time, children time story. Sailor Moon was one of my favorite ones. So maybe that's why she painted. Um, she got it somewhere upstairs and then she was playing with those kind of pattern as well. Uh, looks quite, uh, quite nice. She really enjoy working in a salon. Like I have asked you one time, like, guess who is working with me in a salon? And yes, it is Olivia. Um, looks like she enjoying it. So um, I would say she is Archie and maybe in two, three years time, she will be better than I am. Uh, so I'm crossing the fingers for that. Uh, the main thing is she just have to enjoy it. If she will enjoy it, I think she can be an absolutely amazing nail technician. I can, and I cannot wait to share her work with you guys as well. Because, uh, yes, yeah, it looks like she just might join in. <laughs> uh, so another nail. Let me see that I didn't miss the numbers. No, it's correct. It's going there. Yeah, it looks so cool together. Honestly, it does look so cool. Sorry, cameraman, I need the time. I need the time. I want them to be nice. There we are. So that's how it looks. Uh, oh, that's nice view. I really like it. And obviously, when I was painting this design, it, it's kind of almost looked like a camouflage leaf uh, design. So I will be also showing you how to paint the camouflage nails as well. Uh, but yeah, that's what we have painted today and I hope you have guys really enjoy watching this tutorial and uh, nice for awesome uh, sending you glittery hacks and bye for now